The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. And we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Two teams that have combined to win 11 Super Bowl titles. The Steelers and the Niners are underway. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Here we go, here we go. 180! One, Omaha. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. Touchdown, 49ers! Debo Samuel, 72 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. That is a quick strike. One play all the way to the house. You know, the pass was fine, but that run after the catch, impressive. An absolute horrible time. Of course, any time like this is a horrible time for a defensive breakdown. But where's the tackling? Where were the safeties? You don't expect him to catch the ball. And next thing you know, he's running into the goal post this early in the game. That's not supposed to happen. Gold with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. First carry for James Conner, and he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Now on third down, that pass knocked down in the backfield and incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. That'll be a 47-yard punt officially. Five on the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and ten. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, see if the defense, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. 
And you would have thought they would have been ready the yeah, last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. On second and seven, Garoppolo, and it's incomplete. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass throwing a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down, San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. So that's what that elbow in my ribs was all about. You thought they were going to throw the ball as well. Absolutely. I think everybody thought they were throwing the football. Caught them off guard. Yeah, I'm telling here you, here when here you here have here the here courage here to make it's that type money. of a play call, a lot of times you actually get rewarded. Here's Garoppolo on first and ten. And the catch made. This is Emmanuel Sanders. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, you often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack here we go, here we go. as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Coleman, and he will have a first down here at about the 40. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. But there's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. Garoppolo already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Here we go, here we go. Black 80! Here's Garoppolo to throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Debo Samuel with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Still first quarter, two receiving touchdowns for him. How are they going to slow him down? I think they're thinking about altering their game plan. Whatever they came in with, now maybe you switch a better cover guy to him. Or... You make sure you have more people in his general area, wherever he lines up, to at least try and discourage them from throwing the ball to him. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Get 
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Roethlisberger. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Now Roethlisberger to throw. A bullet throw, but incomplete. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. Hey, hey, Wood. 51 to Mark, boy. 51. Watch this. Alert, alert. Watch the screen. They'll indeed go for it with Roethlisberger. And it is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. to the 20 before he's dropped. 19 yards that time for number 19. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Here we go. 180! Right there in the middle. 55. What we got? What we got? What we got? Now a play fake here on first down. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. It was Mika Fitzpatrick that time to break that one up. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. Go. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Back to the air on second. It's Garoppolo. And this is caught at the eight. And all the way down inside the five to the four. It's a first down, and that catch also puts him at 150 yards receiving now for the game. This defense for us so far in this first quarter. They face another first and goal. 11, 11, 11, 11. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. A loss of two brings up second and goal at the seven-yard line. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Looking to throw, Garoppolo to the goal line, but it's incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late, and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. Garoppolo now on third and goal. 
Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down. Threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. When are these quarterbacks going to learn? You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. So Garoppolo off. Coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. This just a 24-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. This is taken at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you are down. want to. We know, but hold on, let me Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, the I think you just called it desperation time. I think you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. They'll try and run for it with Cannon. Well, he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. They're going to run. Here's Connor. And try to push his way forward, but I think he's going to be short. And he is short. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Here we go. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Garoppolo now gets this one to use check. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. I think the good offensive coordinators in the league now are looking at the fullback position and finding the right guys to hide in that spot and increase their passing game, as we just saw there. How about the run after catch? Racked him. Well, yeah, whether it's a true fullback, a tight end, you put in the fullback spot, you know they're going to be tough to bring down if you can get them the football in the passing game. On first down, Garoppolo. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Bud Dupree credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Now Garoppolo. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. T.J. Watt causing the disruption. He gets the sack. That last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. On third and long, it's Garoppolo. He's going to go for it all. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. This secondary has been roasted in this first half, and they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He was true on his first. This a tough one from 49 yards away. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And the lead now increases to 20 to nothing. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. 
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. The last three. run got three. Now here's second and seven. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming, baby. Woo! Now it's Roethlisberger. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. The Steelers on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and seven. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. Rush coming, and he's taken down. DeForest Buckner with a sack, the former number seven overall pick. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Another try after the first down sack. Roethlisberger into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And now off to the races, down the right side. And they will score. It's a 49er touchdown. That pick six extending this lead even further. And I, boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. But if things don't improve fast then, I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. Gold with the extra point, and a route is on here in this first half. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This fielded at the two. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. 158 left to play till we hit halftime. Coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. This defense has been very disruptive early on as they force another one to go awry. Seems to be the front and the back end. Pass rush, they've been able to get home, and they're taking the ball away in coverage as well. I love how you put it together. The front and back working in sync, only way to play good defense. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. 
A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. On third down, Roethlisberger. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And a good tackle there right around the 30. Stops him short of the first down. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Here we go on fourth down with Roethlisberger. This is Johnson. He's got it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. Now Roethlisberger, complete, it's Johnson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Hey, watch the slant. Alert, alert. Bend to throw again. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. But it's going to be second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, right not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup. Relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Whoa! Second and ten now. It's Roethlisberger. Open man completes it to Smith-Schuster. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Again, it's Roethlisberger. And they get to him with a pressure as Roethlisberger goes down. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. So a big play before the end of the half to get him into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. Yeah, for the successful field goal try, here's Boswell to send it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. 21, 21. Garoppolo, a final shot here before half. He's going to go for a big play downfield. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL Audio Sports. 
Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. They'll indeed go for it with Roethlisberger. And this is going to be incomplete. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Here we go. Black 80. Get that quarterback. It all comes. He gets it. On first down, here's Breida. He's got the first down inside the 10. Now they'll have it first and goal following that gain of 17. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Here we go, here we go. Throwing now is Garoppolo. He'll get this into the hands of Burita. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Three touchdown passes now for Jimmy Garoppolo as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback.
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave a great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain, so now they've got to come back out and start over and re build that confidence. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Now Roethlisberger to throw. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down and they're going to go for it. They'll try and throw for it here. Blitz coming down he goes. Getting the sack, the 227-pound linebacker, Quan Alexander. A gutsy decision there at this stage in the second half in their own territory, and a decision that they might regret. Can't wait for the post-mortem. You know, this post-game press conference, because the questions are going to come fast and furious about this decision, no matter how the, how the game turns out, right? What were you thinking there? Why? Did you have a certain play call? Did, were you confident in your defense? Oh, yeah. Why? <laughs> it's yeah. going to keep coming up. Yeah, no matter the scoreboard, just tough to justify. First and 10 at the 15 yard line. Here we go. Let's go. Let's get this ball back to the offense. Let's go. 21, 21. 26, Mike, 26. Garoppolo on first down. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Emmanuel Sanders, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Here we go, After here we the go. incomplete pass here now is second and 10. 36, 36. On second down, a run with Breida. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and 10. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, Amy! I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. Man. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. That is caught inside the five. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out as his guys continue to pour it on. Sometimes a group that gets overlooked, certainly the offensive line. Right there, they really helped with that score. Didn't they tell us in our meeting that when we score touchdowns, running the ball, that means the offensive line actually scored first by moving people back beyond the end zone. We saw evidence of that on that play. Gold with the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Back! 
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. Roethlisberger now a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. <laughs> To throw here, Roethlisberger. He gets this one to Johnson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It'll be a gain of 17 and a Pittsburgh first. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Roethlisberger. He'll get that one complete to Connor. A gain of four on the play, and it'll be second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. To throw again is Roethlisberger. His throw incomplete. Vance McDonald, the tight end, was the target, and it's third down. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Right there. 54, right there, right there. Fourth down, here's Roethlisberger. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Mike Tomlin takes a shot here, but to no avail. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. The last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this one's just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? You and me trying to get to the airport. That's the road, to be fair, clear. That's clear. That's clear. the move. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, AD! Pick me up. Here we go. There's Garoppolo on first and ten. Gets this one to use check. And he's taken down inside the 30. First down San Francisco to pick up 14 yards. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Here we go. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Check 24, check 24. Garoppolo gives to Breda. The tackle there by Mark Barron. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game. And with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. Here we go, the first here we go. down run got five. Here's second and five. Garoppolo. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And oh, it'll be intercepted. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. 30, 20, 10. 
in, and he brings this one back. It's a pick six for a Steeler touchdown. So from one end zone all the way to the other, talk about a turnaround. And how about the excitement that that play generates for his team? Not just the points on the board, but the momentum and taking it from coast to coast, end zone to end zone. What a tremendous play. Now get that man an oxygen tent. <laughs> That's your boy, Old Mo. You said momentum, right? Old Mo, he, I think he's kind of limping across at the end because of that distance, but he made it. Boswell good with the extra point. So they do get one score back, but still a long way to go here in the third quarter. I guess the last score wasn't enough for them. They want more. Here comes an onside kick. And the 49er hands team does its job. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, AD! It's out of time, guys. Out of time. Let's get off the field. Stay hot. Now Garoppolo to try again after the pick six. On the screen, this is Coleman. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Three quarters in the books. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. To throw is Garoppolo. This is Coleman with a grab. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware the ball may come your way. The Niners on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Charles, thinking back to what you said in the first quarter, that part of the magic elixir for a road victory for these underdogs was going to be winning the turnover battle. Well, they only have one right now. Look at the scoreboard. Yeah, not exactly playing to the form that I subscribed, right? When you talk about winning that turnover battle, that evens things out, especially for a road team, especially for a team that's an underdog. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. 21, 21. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. Got a man. He finds Sanders. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Here we go. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They run with Breda. And he's got some space here. Touchdown, 49ers. Matt Breda, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching. And he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. Now they are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. Gold to add the extra point. Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And last time they were stopped on fourth down, had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this go around. I'm eager to see what their mindset is because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down, do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they got something for us? Or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves. Let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense, a little more confidence? I think as a defense, you're so excited with a fourth down stop. Making them punt, that's your goal anyway. But a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect that they went for it in the first place. And when you get that, you feel great about yourselves. 50. 56. Black. Okay. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. And his throw here is incomplete. The linebacker Fred Warner right there on the coverage. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. They get seven there, but it brings up four. Now it's Roethlisberger, but it's brought in by Washington. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. So no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Here's a first down throw that's complete. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. To throw again on second down. Roethlisberger, Washington's got it. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 43. Roethlisberger throwing complete to McDonald. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Now it's Roethlisberger. And that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Throwing again on second and 10. Roethlisberger, and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Third and two, now Roethlisberger. And this is going to be incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Here we go, here we go. The 49er Ready? offense set to get this drive underway. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me go, and said, just don't really do that play, in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Brings up third and four. 
Here we go. What do you need? Check, 55, Mike. 13, 13. You ain't the hunt. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Cameron Hayward attacking off the edge that time. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Six-yard return after a punt of 48. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something? Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Quan Alexander picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Switch! Switch! Easy, easy. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. And he's going to go down again. Quan Alexander giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe a pressure gets to him again. Quan Alexander, who else? He's in there for his fourth sack of the afternoon. That right now... That's a defeated team out there. Go, I think you can see it totally in their body language. Hands on hips, heads low. Uh, it's just been a struggle from the start. Yeah, this team has been thoroughly beaten apart from the world down. And this is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Charles, you play to the final whistle, I get that, but there are a few folks that might not be too happy with that score late in the game with it already well in hand. You seem a little squeamish about that last I, score. I struggle with it. <laughs> I struggle. But on the other, the, the argument, I get it on the other side is, hey, do something about it. Stop them. I guarantee you, I know who was really excited fantasy owners yeah. who had them. Hey, listen, get the points for me. They're not worried about hurt feelings or anything like that. That's just new age stuff. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest, don't forget today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling no, again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. 
That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.